Hi, everybody. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Darren Kramer. I'm Ann Nyberg. There is a lot of buzz tonight about a Shelton teenager who has been banned from his high school prom. And punishment came down after Shelton High School senior James Tate taped a message on the side of the school building asking a girl to the dance. The story has gained national attention. News 8's Bob Wilson tells us why town officials now want the headmaster to revisit this case. Well, you may look at that and say, that's just a giant brick wall, but to James Tate, that's his canvas. He cut out these giant letters, posted them up on the side of the school. They say, Sonali Rodriguez, will you go to prom with me? Tate, the headmaster, suspended him for that. He's no longer allowed to go to prom, but soon he may be going on national television. Who would you go on first? Which of all the shows that have been contacting you? Um, I'm a fan of uh, Kimmel, Fallon. Big fan of Alan. Um, like Letterman. How great would that be to... You start out doing something nice for your friend, and next thing you know, you end up on national television. Yeah, that would be pretty great. CNN to Oprah and everyone in between has expressed interest in the romantic Romeo. His Facebook page says that tonight he will be on Jimmy Kimmel Live via Skype, an honor student that was just trying to impress his friend and let her know how much he cares. Now banished by the headmaster, shut out from the prom. It's unreal. I uh, just uh, wish my friends didn't get into trouble, and I feel like a jerk for getting them in trouble and leaving my date dateless. But people in the community, town leaders, and even strangers from around the state are rallying behind him. Nearly 30,000 hits on his Facebook page, all supporting him. The Facebook is like, let him go to prom, uh, you know, 30,000 times over, and then uh, the, uh, the texts are like, how, how, you, how you hanging in there, buddy, and stuff. And, you know, it's, it's not like it's straining or anything, it's just bizarre. And Team Tate is building momentum across the state. Support from students as well as parents all want to send the message, send Tate to prom. Oh, everybody's talking about it. Yeah, it's it. I thought it was, I thought it was so romantic and adorable. I really did. I just, you know, let him go. He's displaying his affections for her. That's all he's doing. And, you know. Let him go to the prom. Some town aldermen calling for a special meeting to try and reevaluate the decision. Hundreds of people are emailing, faxing, and calling the Board of Ed as well as the headmaster. Some students want to stage a walkout on Friday and take their protest to the Board of Ed. Others in the community are trying to arrange an alternative, non-sanctioned school prom. You think people should boycott the prom? No, that's, I, I don't want to take away everybody's prom. I just feel like I should just get mine back and my friends back. If this headmaster is listening right now, what would you tell him? Um, hello? I'm sorry. Um, I, uh, can I have my prom back, please? Tate says his biggest regret are that his two friends that helped hold the ladder and put the tape on the signs are also banned from prom. I'm Bob Wilson on the scene in Shelton, News 8.